Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to show how to make alu paratha. Alu paratha is everybody's favorite. It's primarily made in North India. And here I'm going to show you the ingredients. First, we have the atta, the dough that you make, that you make for chapati. This is a consistency. I put a little bit of ghee and uh, salt and I made that dough and I'm going to put it aside and here is the stuffing the stuffing I cooked potatoes um, if you cook two medium potatoes can get about six parathas so you cook them in the pressure cooker or microwave the whole thing and then um, you mash it you mash the potatoes Another trick my friend told me, Sushila told me, is to grate the potatoes instead of mashing it. That way, they won't you, you won't have any lumps. So you grate the potatoes and you mix it with your hand, and then you add all the ingredients. I have onions here and cilantro. Onions are optional, and here are the spices that you add to the potato. Here I'm adding amchur gives a nice sour taste and this is ajwain or omam garam masala turmeric powder red chili powder and salt so all these you can add according to your taste and you can taste it but it should be little more than you normally would like because when you put it in the stuffing it's going to become that it's going to be a little milder so you mix everything the spices everything and you make round balls and here I made the balls with the dough so I'm going to roll it put the stuffing inside and roll it so here is the, the dough I'm going to roll it excuse me and I have the dry flour so that it won't stick so roll it about one and a half to two inch. Then now I'm going to put the stuffing inside. Here. Take the stuffing and you cover it. And you can make it into a round ball. And set it aside. I'm going to do the same thing with this one too. Actually with two medium potatoes, I, I got eight, eight parathas. I thought it was six, but you can get good. Eight parathas with two medium sized potatoes. And here, dip it in the flour and roll it. Roll it. You can put some additional flour. Okay. Here's a rolled paratha. Now I'm going to put it in the pan and cook it. And you cook both sides with ghee till it's done. So here I'm going to put ghee on this side first and you can when you are rolling the paratha you can do it a little thick because of the stuffing and uh, it's very filling because it's thick and very tasty. You can have it either with dal or raita and even plain is really good with yogurt. So this is a wholesome meal. You can have it, you can make it ahead of time and also put it in the fridge or freezer. This is a good snack too. Here you can see it's already getting brown. And I can smell it. All the spices, the armchur. Here it is, it's done. You can see it's all brown. It's evenly cooked. And uh, so I cooked it at medium high and it, it takes a little while, few minutes 
but here it is this is a finished product